What's up? What's good, everyone? I am back with another Zelda gameplay. You know, the reason I am on the, the start screen here and not actually in the game is if you remember last time, I kind of left uh, in the middle of, like, fighting uh, people off. It's been a while since I played. I don't quite remember. Yeah, it might be kind of hectic start. I don't know. And uh, I've been playing a lot of Little Big Planet lately, so my Switch control is a little off. Like, I keep hitting the back button, because the back button is where the PlayStation's select button is. So, um, since it's been a while since I've played Zelda, this might be very interesting. Oh, I was nice to myself and beat up all the other guys. That's nice. That's a nice feature, but this, this weapon is not gonna do. Oopsies. Nope. Yeah, see, switch controls are a little on the lacking side right now. This is nice, swings fast, you know. All right, uh, we are headed towards that dot. Uh, campfire would be absolutely fantastic right about now because it is so dark. Sorry, that was beeping coming from outside, not in the game. I was like, what's that? That's not the running button. Pardon the beeping outside, I have no idea what that is. There's a campfire, but it's surrounded by goons. Uh, if I remember right, there's a, a bad guy on this bridge from the Sheikah clan. Hang on a second. How do I jump again? Okay, that's jumping. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just like walk over here because I really don't want to talk to anybody. Can I sleep here? Oh no, he's getting hot. He's getting lit. Jump, jump. Okay, I got this. I, I so got this. Just don't talk to the guy who might secretly be part of the Shika clan and kill you. Dad gum, don't think about what you're doing. You won't change the world by jumping down carelessly. I don't want to jump down carelessly. I'm trying to avoid you. I only do one thing, and that's drive me batty. Seriously, the shock is suffering. If someone see like that, it's kind of, well, at least he's concerned about my well-being. Maybe he is a nice guy. I'm not gonna take <gasps> campfire. We're just gonna run. Maybe, maybe it was a different bridge. I'm so worried about a bad stranger because, see, the first time I played this game, we're just gonna sleep. Uh, I, th I thought everybody that you talked to was nice. Um, but that's not how it works in the real world and that's not how it works in Zelda either. Um, but I, cause I originally went to the village, right? And the, all the village people were super nice. So when I was exploring more, I saw a person like, uh, by a bridge. So I was like, oh, I'll talk to him, I'll help him out, right? Because everybody's been nice so far, so he must be, no. Um, he was like, hey, I was wondering if uh, you could help me out with, like, some fighting techniques over here. Because, um, see, I'm trying to practice to kill this 100-year-old hero that recently woke up. And I'm like, oh, dadgum, that's me. I am that, that, that guy that you're just talking about destroying. That's me. So, I tried leaving as fast as I could, but it was too late. They they turned into the Shiga Clan thing. Uh, again, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, but they turned into that thing, right? And then, then I died because I wasn't expecting that. It took me by surprise. And then I was like, okay, lesson in Zelda. Do not talk to strangers. Oh, well, what's it called? The, the shrines that require a lot of... Uh, realistic. I don't know how to say it. What is this? That looks like a person. Take. Oh, I don't need a twig. None of your business. Oh, I don't need. I can't get an axe. But what if I want an axe? Do. Oh, I have an axe. <laughs> I gotta be getting close to the stables. I want a horse so I can get there faster without fighting people and running. In the tower would be very, very useful to, to have so I can see the map better and the trails. So I should probably get that first. Is that a chest? No, it's a box. It's a box and that's a skeleton. Lots of box goblins over there. Let's not do that. Not about that business. I think before I usually like to get on that mountain and paraglide down. Let's see if I can swim for it. Might be the ha ha ha. That guy over there is not a nice fellow. Maybe I can shoot him. Let's see, do I remember how to shoot in Zelda? 
No, I don't. Dad, gum it. It's gonna throw it. I don't want to throw it. There. Shoot. Yes. Let's see if I can just ever so carefully. No, the range. Don't see me. Don't see me. Maybe if I do a little higher. Yes. Owned. Like I totally knew what I was doing. There's no other bad guys, are there? No. Perfect. I so knew what I was doing. Let's see if I can swim. Get over there. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Link. Go against the tide. Yes. That rock. I got this. I got this going with the tide now. Always best to go with the tide if possible. Can I get, oh, I can get my arrow back from there. That's cool. I'm just gonna let those float because I don't really have a need for them right this second. Oh no, you're supposed to glide, Link. Glide before you swim. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yes, and he glided that time. That's perfect. And now I can call, wow, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. I feel like I say that in a lot of my videos. In the eye of the hurricane, there was quiet for just a moment. The yellow sky. <laughs> Hamilton reference is going strong. Gorgeous. Boom, there it is. I didn't want to take a picture. Oh well, it's a nice picture of a map that I got right there. Let's see, the fastest way to get to the stables, honestly, it's probably from down there. So we'll just paraglide down there and hope I don't get shot. Shot, 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 shot. Ooh, look at all these gems. Do I want them? I want the ones that are close to me. Restroom, that was a big restroom. Whack! Oh, Flint, I can make my own fire now! If I have wood. I don't know if I have wood or not. Oh, well. It's it's easier to get wood than it is to get Flint. Those are more bad guys. <gasps> I totally forgot that this shrine was here. This is great. I always register the shrines, but I never do them until I, I need them. Um, which... Isn't till like much later, I don't think. Let's see. To bypass that guy, we we just gonna run. We just gonna run and be smart and run like the doctor. Is this a bad camp? It is. Let's just um. What throwing spear? What did? You, okay. Ooh, I thought it heard me. Let's disregard some things that I don't think they can use so that I can kill them. If they don't have any weapons, then I'm good. Drop that. I don't think they can use it as a weapon. This is a rusty claymore, so how good could it be? I'm just gonna get the throwing spear. Don't need the torch. And get this. Oh, there's so many of them. This is, this is not a good idea. This is like a really bad idea, but we'll see how it goes. Let's just, let's just, let's just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? I uh, will try that. Save. Y'all know I like to save. I have a strong feeling that this is just a bad idea. Ah, someone come at me, bro. Oh, no, here, no, here, no, here, no. Don't hit me! gum! that blue guy always gets me in one hit with those just like two and a half hearts. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You know what? While I was over there, I saw that there were bombs. I could probably shoot a flaming arrow at one of their bombs and explode most of them. And then use uh, the spear to, to kill the blue guy first because the, the other ones, they're not very intimidating. So, let's go ahead and do that then. Get the fire, get the fire, get the fire. Yes, yes, yes. Burn, baby, burn. You saw me, you saw me. <gasps> that was loud. 
Is anyone still? He's still alive, Dad, damn it! And he still has his thing. Did I kill him? Did he die? Did he die? He did not die. Oh no, 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 no. I'm very hidden. Oh, he died. I can't believe I just did that. I just, I just freaking, I just took on a whole flippin' Bok Goblin army. Well, I mean, it wasn't an army, it was an entire camp, though. I mean, that's kind of impressive for only three hearts and a spear. Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, this is probably important. I don't want it to burn. Bok Goblin, oh, I guess the Bok Goblin Club, they can burn. You can burn to the ground! Like you're currently doing right now. Take the horns, because I can sell it for money! And this is always some kind of treasure like... Oh, that's, just, that's disappointing. I don't know how to even use a boomerang. Now, I still can't even see the stables. <sighs> it's right there! I should have said that a whole lot sooner. Oh, oh, you know what? I can get to that shrine by paragliding from right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. First time I played this, fun fact, I uh, took a horse and I basically ran and hopped over those thorns. And then when I did that, I realized I, I couldn't get back over. <laughs> I couldn't get past the thorns. I was like, oh, maybe I should have thought this through a little bit. Then I realized I could actually teleport if I needed to. Uh, as soon as I completed that shrine, the the things went away. So that worked out. The the thorns they went away. You are just gonna be trouble. Wow, I'm amazed at how easy those guys die. Works for me. What's this? Rusty broadsword. If you want one. And if you happen to have an axe, you can always hit these boxes and get some arrows or apples, depending on the situation. And here we go! I'm seeing it! Remember? Now I have the shrine next to the stables, so I'm like all set to go get a horse and register it and come back. Yeah, see this is where I can't, I can't get through, but I don't want to do the shrine. I can paraglide. First, it's always good to take inventory, steal some things, never hurt the chickens, I have been told. Mama. Yeah, they're delicious. And nobody's gonna use them but me. Not not because I'm being selfish, but because you're all computer generated things. Can't physically use it. And I'm not be able to set it, or eat it, or cook it, or burn it. <laughs> you should be like, bake it, you know, you can bake it. I think it's really fun when you get to, like, the volcanic area. You can actually just drop the apple onto the ground of the volcanic area. And then, and then, um, it's, it's cooked. Because it's so hot. And usually I drop the old one and take the new one since it's not damaged. Now for finding a horsey. The spotted horses are always easier to get, but they're not as fast. Since I'm only going to heck heck the H village, I think it's like Hakuna, Hakuna Matata. I don't I don't remember what it's called. It starts with an H, so I call it. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Yo, I'm not here. Ooh, you're really cool looking. Can I take you? I want you. I'm not here. Don't see me. I can I can get you. Come, come. Come with me now. Yes. And hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Oh, 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 I'm just riding you. That's cool. For the solid color horses, you have to like calm them down a super long time before they even let you ride them. Hey, you okay, man? What should I name him? I only have nine minutes left of this episode, 
So you guys let me know in the comments what I should name him. Yeah, that's how I go. Oh wait, sorry, sorry buddy, sorry buddy. I need to look at the map because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, going the exact wrong way. That is so awesome. I love it when I do that. We need to go toward, towards the stable. Okay, towards the stables. Turn around. This way, yeah, the yellow dots right there. there. I'll, get, I'll get another horse later. So definitely give me a bunch of name suggestions. So I think you can have a total of like five horses. So like five name suggestions would be like super cool. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Calm, calm down, calm down. We're at a crossroads. Gotta go lift. Uh, and the, the spotted ones, they only have these two stars down there. That means that they can't run very much. That's why I like the solid color ones, because you can have a faster getaway if there's a bad guy somewhere. Because I know there's going to be quite a few bad guys on this trip. It's okay, man. It's okay. I feel like Link is the is the owner that none of the ay, 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 is the owner that none of the horses actually want because Link is always getting into trouble. But it's okay. I treat my horses nice. I never kill them. Oh. I'll, I'll remember that you're there later, but I have a mission, and I chose to accept it. Don't run into the wall, man. Love me. Our bond must grow strong so that you do everything that I say, and so that you follow the path without me telling you. It's like, if our bond is strong enough, then I don't even have to tell you what to do. You just do what I want what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Sorry, man, sorry, man. Well, he didn't seem phased. I literally almost ran into his face. And he was just like, meh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, those usually aren't good signs. Okay, now, okay, now we're in. Oh, this is the K village. Not the, not the H village. Hekano must be what it is. Heck. I can't, I don't know. Dude, chill. Chill your buns. When the people name you, then I will register you in the stable. For now, I have to go meet someone. Ooh, pumpkins! Can I take pumpkins? It's fine, fine pumpkin. You'll get in big trouble if you take it without permission. Well, what if I want it? But you don't understand. I want it more. Almost there. Gotta go up the stairs. Hey, that rhymes! I know Lady Impa, we go back, like way back. We go back like a couple hundred years, you know what I'm saying, man? Oh, and by the way, you could get a cork seed if you put apples all here, but I'm not interested in cork seeds right now. I just need to complete my missions. It's the maid lady person. A man! Is that a chic is late? My name is Paya, like papaya. That last part she didn't actually say. I, I said that one. Lady Impa. So, you're finally awake. Oh, it sure does look like it, unless I'm sleepwalking. Oh. I have lost my memory. I don't remember daily squat. Hundred years ago, the kingdom of Zelda and Ganon and her father. She's a princess. And she's pretty dadgum awesome. And you like her, even though you've got like a girlfriend up in the, up in, um, what was that place called? No, there's a, there's a, like a sea creature place on the map that I'm gonna go to. It's like somewhere in here. I don't quite remember, but that's got, uh, the mighty Ruta? The beast Marut Marut hang on a second. Oh I don't even I don't even see it. Wait a second. Your tasks to speak who will give you more Maybe I maybe I should have read what she was talking about. <laughs> yes, I am. 
All right, we'll read it now. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. Well, thank you. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yep. Well, since you have lost your memory, I will recount all that has happened. Oh, I thought I thought you just did that. That's why I was trying to skip what you were talking about. But that that's okay. We can we can go through another video. Oh, I can skip it. You done been skipped, homie, home girl, home dizzle, home something. Hundred years ago, I thought you just went over this. Free the four divine beasts. Yes. I know about them. That's why I was just trying to look to see what their names were. The easiest is top right. Well, not top right. Bo bottom right. Hetano! That's what it's called. Or Hetano? Hetano? Ha Hetano? I don't know. Seek out Impa complete. One mission down, a whole lot more to go. Now let's look. Which was a divine beast I was talking about? The divine beast Varuta. That's right. That's the one that I'll be heading for next. On the next episode of The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, comment down below what you think I should name my horse that I got. And I will see you guys next time.